Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in previous video tutorial, previous to previous video tutorial, we had learned uh, how to create a Jersey uh, web service using a Spring Boot. And uh, there we had hard coded uh, uh, data in the service layer itself. But in this example, uh, we have modified uh, that project. Uh, and in this project, which basically we are going to see end to end, means uh, uh, we'll call our web services using Postman, and uh, that will query to the database, our database, and that will fetch data from the database. And here we are using MySQL as a database. So this project is already I have created. I'm going to explain you each and every piece of the code. So here first, let's go through the pom.xml so here you can see the pom.xml so let's see what are the dependency i have mentioned in the pom.xml so here we are using the latest spring boot version that is 157 and this is the parent so that this is telling that our project is the child of this project we have we are using java 8 now if you go to the dependencies section then we, first of all we have added uh, a spring boot a starter jersey dependency which will basically download the, all the required jars uh, from the repository and that will add to the maven dependency folder which is required to develop the jersey restful web services uh, we have added uh, a spring data jpa because here we are using uh, a spring jpa to interact with the database we have added mysql dependency because we are using mysql database uh, finally we have a plugin which helps us to generate the executable jar and war file so that's all about the pom.xml here if you go to the project and here i have created txt file there i have listed all the api i have given the api name and corresponding url uri and if you require any kind of input as a json format that uh, i have included uh, as an example right so if you want to create a topic then you require a json object like this so let's go to the source file so first of all we have a bootstrap class this is the starting point of uh, our uh, bootstrap uh, this is the when we talk about the spring boot application this is the bootstrap class this is the starting point of your application right and uh, that's what we have in, we have added at rate a spring boot application annotation on the top of this class and this annotation basically implicitly includes three three annotations so you can see over here now if you go to the next and here I have created a jersey configuration file which extends basically resource config so the way we uh, create uh, restful web services in jersey that is a bit different how we create uh, uh, restful web services using a spring mvc module right so here uh, every services you will have to register you will have to create a configuration class right uh, you will have to create a class that you will have to annotate as at rate component or at rate service but here at rate component would be much better right so as per the spring uh, uh, recommendation this is not our service or not repository so better annotate as at rate component and here you will have to override this method which is available in this class and here you will have to call a register method for every service so right now we have only one restful web services which we have created that we have registered but if you have a more than one then all uh, uh, resources you will have to register over here by calling its register method that's all about this class now we have a topic doc which interface which will, which has listed a lot of methods uh, to perform some kind of current operation now we have a implementation of this interface right there uh, we have annotated this class as at rate transactional and at rate repository right so we want uh, a, a spring jps to start a transaction if that is needed for any particular method right so if you make any changes on the database side then of course we need a, a transaction like if you want to add modify some topic or delete some topic then in that case we require a transaction but to read data from the database we of course not needed a transaction so that's the job job of at rate transaction here if you want to include some property like propagation level a lot many things right so which we have already discussed in the previous video tutorial right and uh, we have already the at rate repository because this is a repository class so this class will be 
uh, uh, instantiated and that will be registered into the uh, spring container right so that's all about this and this uh, uh, api is pretty straightforward we have used uh, uh, entity manager entity manager has a lot of methods like find method which gives you a uh, topic information based on the provided primary key topic id uh, you have a hql we have written like this is pretty simple hql uh, and this hql we are passing to the entity manager by calling create uh, create query and this will return uh, return us the list of topic from the underlying data store if you want to save some topic then persist method you have a similarly if you want to update some topic then first of all we'll look into the database whether this topic exists or not and if that exists then we are setting value new value and just flushing the entity manager so that this will commit into the database so guys here basically if this comes null then there is chance to get the null pointer exception over here so uh, when you code these things in the real scenario then of course after calling the database you will have to go for the null check as well which which i have left over here for simplicity now if you want to remove some topic information based on the id then we have of course a remove method and if we want to check some uh, topic exists in the database or not then you have a topic exist method right so it's pretty straightforward so this is all about the dog class now uh, we have a entity class right so this class is tied up with the topics uh, uh, table in the database uh, this is our primary key which is auto generated and uh, this is our column name i have specified we have a title category now level i have made full false this will apply the not null constraint and length we have specified and a lot of lot of many constraint you can uh, supply over here so that's all about this entity class now if you go to the service then of course we have a service interface which list which has listed crud operation and this is the implementation of this service which service is basically using the uh, doll layer so that's what we have auto wire these things and service makes call to the dog right so this is pretty straightforward how we have seen in the past videos so service makes call to the doll layer so that's all about and very important thing is the topic jersey rest uh, service so this is our restful web services which is annotated as uh, i have annotated as uh, at rate component but here you can use at rate service as well here uh, class level annotations we have used at read path and class level URI I have given slash topics. So when we create a, a RESTful web services using a Spring MVC, right? When you add a Spring MVC module like a Spring Web Starter, then basically we use at read request mapping. But when we use um, REST uh, Jersey implementation, then we will have to use path on the class or method level. So here, this uh, method basically creates a topic in the database. So that's what post. Similarly, we have a, a put method to update a topic, get for getting the data, delete. Again, delete method, you have a deleting topic from the database. So here, path annotation, again, I have given a create. So to reach on this uh, method, you have a complete uh, slash topic. Uh, complete URI slash topic slash create right and you will have to set the JSON uh, client has to send the JSON that will automatically convert into the topic and I have annotated every method with at cross origin so this base this basically uh, helps us to call this method from the uh, multiple uh, domains right so this basically supports the course course means cross origin uh, resource sharing so that's very important if you would like to call this method from the java script from another machine using java script or uh, some other ui component then you will have to annotate this class as at it called cross origin that's the concept so this method is pretty straightforward so path uh, this is this method is basically update uh, topic information that's why i have given put path then this is producing json and consuming json as well and cross origin for course right so this is pretty straightforward if you go easily you can understand if you want to take the path attribute then we have a path param in uh, uh, jersey but uh, in a spring mbc we have a path variable so that's all about this service now let's 
test this service using post so if you have a postman or uh, you may use uh, soap ui as well right to test uh, restful web services soap ui assist you to help uh, make call to the soap based web services as well as jersey based services so this database i have created already in the database nothing is in this database so if you look into the application dot property we have given a database information data source information this is the tomcat uh, uh, connection pulley information and finally gpi information here i have given the auto uh, ddl auto update so if there is no database table in the database uh, uh, schema then this will create jpi will create a database table as well so let's uh, start this application so we have added uh, jersey dependency in our class path uh, jersey starter so this will add uh, embedded tomcat tomcat in this application as well so if you'll see tomcat will be started on the default port 8080 because we haven't provided explicitly any other port so this will choose the default port and uh, we'll see tomcat is gonna start on 8080 Now Tomcat is started on 880 port and uh, database table, if you go to the table section, then database table is created. So this is created by the JPA itself. Now I would like to call the API, we have a different API. So first of all, let's go and create the, uh, create a topic. So this is the URI we have uh, to create a topic and let's go to the postman and paste this URL. Sorry guys, uh, this postman is working a little slow. So let's post this, paste this URL. And uh, uh, method will have to select post to create any resource on the server. And here in body section, sorry. So here you will have to select body and raw and let's uh, create a topic and this is our JSON which you can paste it over here and let's call this API and now our services is up and running let's see what happens. Now there is some error is coming because in header section you will have to specify content type content type you will have to specify application slash json and after specifying this uh, let's make calls again now at this time you can see http code 201 created so if you go to the database then topic will be created if i go and uh, select this database and you see topic information uh, will be created in our database so here topic uh, we have created right so similarly we can create one more topic like uh, spring boat i would say spring boat data jpa and let's create it again and uh, let's go to database and try to select now two topic we have created by calling this api now there are more uh, in point we have to test so i'm running out of time so this video contains a second part as well so this of the api i'm gonna test in the next video uh, so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial